Who do you think is the greatest of all time? Will Chamberlain. You think Will Chamberlain is the greatest of all time. So that's, mm -hmm. that's the one of the people I am so curious about because mm -hmm. when you read about him, you know, you read about how high he jumped, you read about what he bench pressed, you read about you know, his quickness, tr you know, track, all, it just almost, it almost like, you know the Bo Jackson <laughs> you hear about, Bo yeah. was a mid, Deion Sanders was a mid, Wilt is in that category to me of Bo, Deion, and Wilt. Mm -hmm. You played against him, right? Mm -hmm. What was he like when you played against him? Well, you know, there was the two Wilts. It was the Wilt that uh, dominated uh, early on in his career. Then when they said that he, you know, shot too much. People said that he was selfish. So you know what he did? Went back and led the league in assists. He led the league in assists one year. Actually, they played in a triangle offense. Um, a center led the league in assists? Yeah, 1967. Wow. 68. I think it was eight and a half was the, the leading number. Chamberlain, back pass for Goodwin. Good! Throws it on the free throw line. Chamberlain, one of the best in the game at handing off to the cutter. Wilt stopped shooting in his sixth year, sixth or seventh year in the league, and became an assist guy and whatnot. So, and he didn't play, he only played 13 years, and he, and he, didn't, he played part of one year of that. So, he played like 12 years, 12 and a half years, let's say. And he was the all-time leading scorer before everybody else started. He still has 72 records on the books. He's got 68 records by himself, so he's got his, you know, he's tied with four people in another area. I mean, and this has been, what, 40-some years ago. Just numbers in itself tell 50 points a game, 20, average 20-some rebounds a game. He averaged four, almost 48 minutes a game. I mean, when you... Led the league in assists once, which, yes. is, which is unheard of as a center. Exactly. Whatever they said he couldn't do, he did. And that, and that was always what. I put my elbow into his solar plexus and I heard him grunt. Ugh. And as I was coming back on the court, he was coming after me with his left hand. And I knew that was not to shake my hand because he's right handed. And I knocked this photographer off his stool. I picked up the stool and I reached back to hit Wilton. By that time, the whole bench on both teams had emptied and Russell was in front of Wilt. Wilt was looking over his shoulders, pointing at me and saying, Sam Jones, I'm going to make you eat the stool. And I was saying, Wilt Chamberlain, I'm going to crack your kneecaps. Well, anyway, that got over. The next night we played in Philadelphia. And so Will Chamberlain told me, he said, don't come into the paint tonight. And, I, you know, being a smart aleck, like I said, well, I'm going to come in there. The first time I got the ball, I went in for a layup. He did not try to block the ball at all. He blocked my body. He put me flat on my back. And I remember him coming and getting close to me and saying, the next time you come in here, I'll knock you flat on your butt again as he was picking me up. And I says, I won't be back. <laughs> and that all night, I did not come back into the paint. You talk about, in your prime, how you think you would have maybe uh, stacked up against Shaquille O'Neal. Or, you know, well, what do you think might would have happened? You versus Shaquille O'Neal today? Because people sometimes lump the two of you together. Yeah. Probably uh, more qualified than anybody for this one, uh, you played, uh, you were contemporary, I believe, for some period of time with Will Chamberlain. You obviously coached Shaquille O'Neal. Strengths and weaknesses of each, and if you have to rank them, who's number one, who's number two on that list of two centers? Will Chamberlain was indeed the most dominant player ever. Well, you know, as, as formidable as Shaq was physically, just uh, stalwart, 300 pounds of steel and uh, agility and athleticism, uh, Wilt was all of that. The most, one of the most dominant forces we ever had in our game, along with Shaq. You had no more regrets. championships than Wilt. Yeah, I got more champions, but you know, they, like, I'm very, when it comes to basketball conversations, I'm very arrogant. I only want to hear my name. So when they say who's the most dominant player ever, I want them to say my name. I don't want them to be like, uh, maybe Wilt, maybe Shaq. That, that's, that don't fly with me. I want them to say Shaq. Does, so, does that really bother you? Yeah, it does, because that was my niche. I wasn't going for the greatest player niche. I wasn't going for, you know, the, the best. I wasn't going for that, because those, those words are, you know, those words are just thrown out. You know, words like most dominant, you got to earn that. So, Will averaged 50 in one season. He did, he averaged 50 in one season, so. I'm mad because 
I wanted to pass him up in points. Now, if I would have passed him up, I would have arrogantly said, Shaquille O'Neal is the most dominant player ever. Don't ever ask me the question again. Yeah, I got more rings than him, but he got more 50-point games, he got more rebounds, and he has more points. Shaquille didn't have quite the same athleticism that Wilt had. He had the bounce, and he had the, uh, the speed, but he didn't have the endurance that obviously by the 48 minutes a night that we talked about. Um, he had a jump hook, whereas you know, Wilt didn't have a jump hook. He had an array of shots. He had a hook. He had a finger roll. He had a turnaround jump shot. And uh, uh, Shaq was a post-sprinter. Shaq gets away with what I would consider murder. So they, uh, they, uh, they let one, him go. Yeah, I mean, I would think that when you dip your shoulder and you run over top of a guy and the foul is called on the guy laying on the floor, you know, you're getting away with something. So, so uh, Shaq is allowed maybe to score some points that maybe he wouldn't get.